One is personal branding. Personal branding is not what you say you are, but what others say about you. And especially in this 21st century, where personal branding is so important. So from that one minute video, you would have known my name, what do I do, and what I'm passionate about, and what are the things I'm building. So in the past seven years, I realized that there's an importance of personal branding when I first started my digital marketing business. And at the same time, I was using this NAC framework to help my clients and myself to build a personal branding, especially in the past seven years. And what does this NAC framework mean? N stands for network, A stands for authority, and C stands for credibility. And by using this NAC network, it has helped me to build my branding and my client's branding in the past seven years. And let's start off with network. And how did I get started doing this networking? I was attending business networking session, talks, workshops, and webinar. That was how I started building my network and building my connection with them. And next, I will touch on the authority. Because of me networking with people, I realized that during all the networking sessions, I was lacking of something. People were not interested in me. People were not wanting to collaborate or work with me. The reason is because I was new in business. And I had this question. I believe that most of you will be having this question. I'm new in the industry, or even I'm new in the job space. How are people going to take me as an authority? And that was when I started to realize that to be the authority, when you take out the ITY, you will have author. And that started me writing my book about mother industrialists, perfecting the balance between motherhood and business success, and I published my book in 2018. And ever since then, when I introduced myself as an author, the business owners will be curious about what do I do other than writing the book, other than being an author. They got interested in me, in my business later on. And that also brings me to the next thing. As I already had the network, I have, have the massive network, network of people with business owners through all the networking sessions, through all the, the talks, workshops, but I was still lacking with something, which is credibility. People will be asking me, Kenneth, what are the results that you can generate for people? And who, are, who have you helped? And that was when I realized that hey, I started building testimonials. I started to go out to mompreneurs that I personally know and work for, work together with, and business owners to collect testimonials. And this is something that helped me to build up my credibility because as a man, empowering mothers or even help mothers to start business using my book, people are questioning me, Kenneth, why is a man doing this? And with all this testimony, it helped me to build up my credibility. And other than that, I started doing my podcast. And to date, I've done 100 episodes. Whenever I share with people that I've done 100 episodes of my podcast in the past five years, period, people stop questioning me, questioning me about my credibility. And next, it spin off to something that I never really expected. I was invited to Mrs. Singapore and classic Mrs. Singapore beauty pageant as one of their guest speakers. Imagine being a male speaking on the stage, addressing to all the misses. It was a validation for me that I built my network, my authority, and my credibility. And at the same time, they also awarded me the token of appreciation on their finals. And you can see from the pictures, I'm standing together with all the beauty queens. <laughs> and next, it also helped me to spin off and launch a mentorship program for 12 months where I train women speakers to be stage closer heroes, that they can be on stage, they can be confident of themselves, they can, at the same time, provide more value to their audience. And with that, with my five students, which both of them are here, and my very dear friend that supported me ever since I published my book, we spin it off to Women's Summit, Women's Workshop, even Mompreneurship Workshop, because I was connected. People recognized me as authority, as someone with credibility. 
and that's where I've organized two Women Change Maker Summit in 2020 and 2022. And recently, in fact, last year, I was appointed as the Chapter President of Women of Global Change Singapore, which is a non-profit organization that supports women and children all around the world. And this really gives me a very deep validation. And to sum up, in the past seven years, I've used this NAC framework to help me to build my own personal brand. So how about you guys? This is where I'm going to share with you how you can build your own personal brand from scratch and starting with networking in LinkedIn. And you must be wondering, why LinkedIn? It's because LinkedIn today is no longer like in the past where they are for job seekers. It has transformed and evolved into a content platform for businesses and professionals. Especially for fresh graduates that's going to graduate, this will be the best networking tool. You do not need to be like me that need to go for networking session, need to go for workshops, need to go for uh, seminars and all that. All you need to do is to start branding yourself on LinkedIn. Can I have a, I have a question? How many of you are on LinkedIn? Can, I have, can you raise a hand? Okay, that's a handful. Good, good. Okay, so what I'm going to share with you will be something very useful, and as, especially for those who are not on LinkedIn yet. You, today should be the time that you should consider being on LinkedIn. Why? Because today, LinkedIn has 810 million users all around the world in 2022. You should use this opportunity to leverage because now the world is your oyster. And LinkedIn is now the content platform for businesses and professionals. And I would like to quote Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary Vaynerchuk says, Reputation is the ultimate currency. I totally agree, but I want to add something in front, which is online reputation is the ultimate currency. And if you're not building your reputation or digital presence online, you are already missing out, especially for those who are looking for jobs or even professionals, or even you want to connect with business owners to have you in their team. Next, how do you build up authority and credibility? So I'm going to share with you three ways for you to do it. First is to optimize your profile. As for most of you, you may be wondering why it's optimizing your profile, and there are five steps to it. First is your profile pic. Second, your banner. Third, your headlines. Fourth, your about section. And fifth, recommendation. I want you to focus on these five things for you to optimize first, because these are the things that you should be focusing on. And for your profile picture, it has to be a professional taken photo, not of you taking a selfie at a bar or taking selfie with you with your friends. It should be a professional taken photo like the one I sh uh, I'm showing here. And it has to bring a smile because who wants to connect with someone who's having a grumpy face, who's not smiling at all? So choose a photo that brings a smile to people so that it's more welcoming and people will want to connect with you. And the next will be your profile banner. Because your profile banner is like your company billboard. You should be telling people using pictures because pictures tell a thousand words. So if you use a picture, it basically summarizes what you do in short. Like for my case, I have my speaking photos. I have me receiving an award. I'm also showing photos that I'm running workshops. So this will tell people what do I do. And the third thing will be headlines. Because the headline, if you connect with anyone on LinkedIn, that is the first thing that they will see, your headline. And your headline should show people who you are helping and what do you do. And this is an example. If you guys want to take a screenshot, you can take a screenshot. This is a template for you to come up with your headline. Because a lot of time, if you go onto LinkedIn, you will be seeing people putting their positions, like I'm the CEO of a certain company, I'm the project director of a certain company. Frankly speaking, nobody is interested in that. People are interested how you can help them, how you can serve them. So this is a template. First, you start off with, I help, serve, or empower to the target audience, who are you helping? If let's say you're helping students or you're helping children, then you put it there. And to what are the results you are generating for them? And what are the frameworks, processes, systems that you are using to help them to generate the result, and what is the amount of time needed 
to generate that result. So this is a very good template for you to use so that in the nutshell, in just one sentence, people will know what you do. And this is what I've came up for myself. It's like I help women to be change makers where they can inspire, influence, and impact the world using my passion, purpose, and profit framework in 90 days. So isn't that simple, short, and sweet? And people will be interested to connect with you. Next is about, a sec about section. This is an example of typically what people put on their about section. They talk about their job, they talk about the skills they have, they talk about the qualification they have, frankly speaking. Your employer will not be interested in all that. Your colleagues will not be interested in that. Or people who you want to connect will not be interested in that. What they are interested in is when we, talk, we, when we always say about facts tells, story sells. This is facts. And what I would advise is that tell them a story. Starting from your past, what do you do in the past? And what do, are you doing in the present? And what are you doing in the future? Example, what is your mission? What is your vision? What are you looking forward to help people? And it has to be include, include the part where you share and tell your journey. Because people love to hear stories. People do want to hear where do you start from? And where are you now? And where are you going forward? That's why you always hear um, movies on real stories always sells. And next is it, you have to cover what do you do and how you can help them. People are interested. So that's why it's okay for you to come up with an about session that long because it's like a story. People are interested. People are not interested in your skills and all that because that is not relevant in connecting with people. Next, as I mentioned, I've been collecting testimonials. And at the same time, on LinkedIn, you should be collecting recommendation from people that you work with, you have been colleagues with, or people you have helped. And I would recommend to have at least 10 recommendations. As you can see over here, I've received more than 10, about 13. I'm still building, I'm still collecting. So this will help to build up your authority uh, where people share about the experience working with you and your credibility. The more, the merrier. Okay? So next, Step two is to promote yourself and put yourself out. What do I mean by that and how you can do that? Is when you are out of sight, out of mind. Because if you are not there putting yourself out, promoting yourself, people don't remember you, people will forget about you. And the first thing that you can do is regular posting. And you can leverage on the polling features because now polling helps you to reach out more organically and reach out to more people. And you have to comment on other people's posts to be positioning yourself as a thought leader. Because being a thought leader, people will be interested in your opinion, in your sharing, and what you have. And also, if you are someone who loves to write, you can start writing articles and newsletters because this will be the place, a platform for you to put out and engage with your audience. And last but not least, the most important thing when you put yourself out is be consistent. I've seen a lot of people who post them, uh, who've been posting regularly for three months and they disappear for three months and then they come back. And that goes back to outside, out of mind. And the third step is grow your connection. When I say grow your connection, what do I mean? And there are also five steps for you to do. First thing, when you connect with someone, you have to be intentional, have to be strategic. Why do I say that? Because when you niche down to your target audience. For example, my target audience are women, women thought leaders, women entrepreneurs, women speakers. And I have to be intentional about it. And I want to connect with all these uh, audience so that I can work with them, I can collaborate with them. And I have to make sure that they are active connections, meaning that if they have at least a thousand connection, most of them are pretty active and you want to connect with them so that there will be engagement and that with the engagement, it will help with the algorithm. And third, once you have done your optimization and you, if you have done a good job putting yourself, positioning yourself as a thought leader, when you send requests to connect, you don't even have to put any messages to them. People will start connecting with you. People will approve your connection. Why? Because the first thing when people see your request to connect, they will go into your profile. If your profile is empty, they will feel that this person has no substance. I do not want to connect with them. So when you have done a good job optimizing and promoting yourself, 
And that's why when you send requests to connect, people will start connecting with you, or the reverse, people will send you requests for connection. And last but not least, I do not know any one of you have this experience. Have you received any spam on your DMs when you start connecting with people, accepting their connection, and next thing they bump, they give you their sales pitch, right? I see some people are nod nodding their head. So do not spam them with your DMs because people are not interested. People don't care about how, how, how much you know. People care about how much you care. This is something that I want to share with all of you, the importance of connecting with people. People really don't care about how much you know. People just care about how much you care about them. Okay, so before I wrap up, I want to share three persons that, um, that I, I, I highly respected. And these three persons have built an amazing, amazing personal brand. And I would like to share with you. So starting with the first one, can I have a show of hands? How many of you know who is this person? Okay, I see. Okay, you guys should be from my generation, uh, all right? <laughs> so, nevertheless, although some of you, majority of you may not know this person, but this person has inspired and influenced a lot of singers and a lot of dancers. He is none other than the legendary, leg legendary king of pop, Michael Jackson. And the next person, before I bring out the next person, can I have a show of hands? How many of you are holding onto an iPhone or iPad? Okay, good, good. The rest is not using, right? It's okay. It's okay that you are not using iPhone or iPad because you will definitely know this person. Because without this person, you won't be holding the Android smartphone that you're holding because this person is, I don't have to say much, right? Most of you know him. Okay, then the last person that I'm going to bring up he is someone, without him, all of us will not be sitting here. And all of us will not be uh, attending this event. Anybody have any idea? Especially Singaporean. Anybody? Okay. He's none other than our founding father, mentor minister, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. He has transformed and bring Singapore from a developing country to one of the most developed nations around the world and in Asia. And before I leave you, I would like to share with you this. What personal branding would you like to build that will leave a legacy for future generations? My name is Kenneth Chu. Thank you.